Hey, it's Bach, and I wanted to talk a little bit about guitar tone and the importance of a signature tone. Making trees. Guitar tone for me starts with the actual guitar. In this particular guitar, this is a Squire Strat made in, oh, assembled in Indonesia, I think, with basswood. Um, but the most important part of my guitar tone with my three electrics are the humbuckers. So I prefer to use Duncan hot rails, or in this case, designed by Duncan. I guess they were able to get the, the rights to design these pickups. They sound great. They sound every bit as good as the other Duncans I have. I have this uh, Traveler guitar with hot rails in it. Came stock with hot rails. That's the, the main part of the tone there. As well as my Lake Placid Blue 1986. I bought this in 86 and I had two Duncan hot rails put in there, and the middle pickup taken out, and there's gaff tape to cover up the hole. And I have a three position switch instead of a five position switch. But when I'm playing, when I'm playing hard rock, I'm actually relying on the, mostly the bridge pickup and whatever distortion I have. Uh, but I, ha I got the uh, GT2 here, and this is the tone I'm getting from it for like a hard rock or punk tone. So I'm looking for some, um, you know, crunch, not too much crunch, enough crunch to make it sound powerful, and I need to do pinch harmonics. But if I switch to the bridge, I've got this nice... Okay, so I've, I discovered my tone about it just over 20 years ago. What are you doing, doggy? I'm recording a video here, for God's sake. So that's through the, the Sansam GT2, and it's a nice rock, plus punk. Yeah, she likes the punk. So um, I'm able to get that tone mainly off the bridge pickup for the hard, heavy-edged rock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out, and I'm going to play the uh, through the, um, the Zoom G10N to see what kind of tones that gets. Since the late 80s, I guess into the early 90s when I started to actually develop and uh, develop my tone that I have now, I've never left that tone since. No matter what guitar I have, I'm going for that tone. If I play with single coil pickups, I'm not going to get that tone. I love to play strats. I love the scale length. I love the sustain I'm getting. So therefore, I'm going to stick with the strat design. I have retired Lake Placid Blue. Just Lake Placid has a special place on the wall. I want to get Lake Placid Blue set up again properly, but much heavier guitar. Guitar, but I'm going to compare all these tones. Um, pretty much the same volume. <laughs> got a tolerance window of tone, right? So a tolerance of tone where I'm happy playing within that window and it's not going to be like 100% all the time. I can dial my tone into a, a tube amp. I just have to be careful about the settings because tubes do sound different, of course. But in the end, the tone is coming from my head. All the guitar players I listened to growing up, like, you know, from the Ramones and Kiss and um, all those guitar players, I came up with a, a tone that, that I've been happy with. Finally, when I decided what it was I was trying to go for on stage. Just the right amount of crunch. Not too, too much. I need some sustain. I need to do pinch harmonics. Yeah, I'm repeating myself, whatever. So, that's what I'm looking for. Just a big, thick, heavy tone without uh, impeding on the bass player's tone. So I don't want to have too many lows in there. 
I do play with a uh, 9 to 46 custom light strings, light top, heavy bottom. For, for this scale length of a guitar, it works perfectly because I can bend how much I want to bend. If I use tens on this, I can't bend quite as high. So just con consider your guitar tone. Try to find the one that works for you. This is not about death metal or heavy metal uh, or glassy tones or big, dirty, thick tones. It's kind of a medium range. Enough dirt in there without being too dirty because they do want some punch. The more distortion you have, the less punch you have in a lot of cases. So I just ease off on the distortion a little bit. Just to... Anyway, for... Um, for, you know, it's a personal thing, but I think a tone is very important for a guitar player. Come up with what you feel comfortable with playing on stage, basically. On a recording, um, I'm pretty much choosing one of these tones as long as it's somewhere in the range that I want it. So, anyway, consider your guitar tone.